Climate change is traditionally seen as a, an environmental issue. Why are military leaders concerned? Well, we in the uh, military organization operate across the whole of the world. We need to understand the environment in which we're going to be operating, and we under need to understand the uh, political, environmental, and other stressors that might actually precipitate conflict in the future. So if I, I start with the first concept, uh, if the climate is changing, if the environment in which we operate changes, then we need to adapt our capability so to do. Mm -hmm. On the second uh, concept, more, more broadly, we have a whole concepts and doctrine centre that looks at the future stresses, tipping points in uh, likelihood of uh, world conflicts, but also those that might affect the security of the UK. We could look at everything from uh, whether or not climate change will in, uh, impact upon Britain's sea lines of communication, upon which we're fundamentally dependent for supplies to the UK. Or we could look at uh, issues such as population uh, increases, uh, increasing urbanisation, changing climate, resource shortages that can themselves all precipitate uh, conflict. And sceptics will often say that you should wait until you have certainty before taking action. Why isn't that the perspective of the military? Certainty in terms of uh, the military approach, of course, is something that uh, uh, we can't anticipate. We, we plan and predict for what is likely to happen in the future. And history tells us that uh, we didn't predict most of the major events in which we have intervened in recent years. We didn't predict uh, General Galtieri invading the Falklands. We didn't predict Saddam Hussein invading uh, Kuwait. We didn't predict 9-11. Uh, and we didn't predict the Arab Spring. Those are all uh, uh, mostly uh, military and political events. But likewise, uh, we uh, might not have predicted climate change. Actually, what we're doing is we are predicting climate change as to be a major uh, tipping point that impacts global security, and therefore we need to be ready uh, for that when it arises, or perhaps not a when, but as it progressively uh, changes and impacts upon our planet. And we're at a conference today about health, security, and climate change. What's the intersection there as far as you're concerned? Well, surprisingly many, and uh, of course we've heard in some of the debate today that there are many across the uh, global community who don't understand the health impacts uh, at all. Uh, from my perspective, if we are going to find ourselves uh, operating on a global framework from, from the UK, uh, we need to prepare our people to uh, work in those environments, but also to understand the impacts upon our populations, both the global population, which is what really matters to us, as well as the UK population, in terms of the uh, changing disease pattern that may occur. Personally, I'm rather more challenged by the public health impacts of uh, climate change, and uh, as I'll be talking about shortly, the fact that we have uh, increasingly urbanised population on low-lying coast coastal areas, susceptible to extreme weather events, and those foster I imminently the risks of uh, public health disasters, water shortage, food shortage, poor sanitation, increasing disease. And if, as uh, uh, UK, we look at uh, providing increased humanitarian support, I'm not talking about uh, uh, defence in its traditional sense of, of, uh, of war fighting. I'm talking about uh, our UK capability across government to deliver humanitarian support to these stressed areas, whether, as I said, urban stressed areas or uh, broader global situations. And, and just to finish, to what extent are these issues starting to, to be visible already? Well, I'm not the uh, climate scientist, and um, I'm not going to sort of delve in, into that. Uh, but as far as uh, we, we see, and I think you, the media, we all notice that the uh, increase in numbers of global major disasters is significant. I don't mean the, uh, uh, the, the volcanic and uh, earthquake events, but serious uh, environmental climate extreme weather events and even today as we as we talk uh, 45 people killed in Honduras in the last 20, 24 hours due to a mudslide and uh, large parts of Thailand underwater now this is happening incredibly frequently uh, these days and uh, whether or not you uh, believe in the science of climate change the climate is changing and the effects of it are seen day in day out with natural disasters occurring around the world thank you for joining us